This task asks you to understand when you're given a part, how can you figure out what then more is worth? So question one says you have a rectangle and this represents one third. That means this is one piece out of three. So what would a full amount look like or three out of three parts? Well, that just means you would have two more rectangles added. Now you wouldn't want to necessarily specify that it's a square that would make a square because we don't know the proportion of the rectangle. You would just say that a hole would look like two additional rectangles so that you would have three rectangles out of the three required to make a hole. Then number two gives you kind of this block with some dots inside of it. And it says that there are eight dots inside and this represents half of the hole. So how much is the whole amount? How much would a full amount be? Well, if you have eight, you can think of this as if eight is half, I need two halves to make a whole. So I would need to double eight, which would then give me 16 making the whole amount. But I can also figure this out mathematically. And to do that, I can set it up in a fraction format. So if I have eight, if eight equals one part, but I have two parts making the whole, I can use multiplication to create equivalent fractions. So what did one get multiplied by to make eight? Well, it got multiplied by eight. So if we multiply the top by eight, we have to multiply the bottom by eight as well to keep our proportions the same. So if I multiply two by eight, guess what? I get 16. So if eight is half of the whole, eight is half of 16, and 16 makes the whole amount. The last one says, well, 12 is now 3 fourths of a whole. That means it represents three parts out of the four parts it takes to make a whole. So what I can do is I can figure out, well, how much is in each part, okay? So I can figure, well, 12, and if I divide it by three, that lets me know 12 divided by three means that there are four dots in each part. So then if I have four parts, it means I have four, four times, which is going to be 16 as well. I guess we didn't get too creative on our dots here. Um, but then similar to this, we can set up an equivalent fraction format to help us just verify that that's how it works, okay? So if I have 12, equaling three parts, how many makes up four? Well, uh, three times four got us 12, but so does, so then four times four gets us 16. And if, if the math doesn't really work, you can get a little more creative. If it's saying I have 12 dots, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and in that there are three groups. So how much can I break this up by to make three groups? So if I have um, you know, a group of four there, one, two, three, four, a group of four there, so I can break it up and see, oh, each part contains four blocks. So how much is gonna be in this last block? Another four to get the 16.